Geminis. Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is our weekly message from your person. Y'all know it's not an in-depth tarot reading. I'm going to use the message decks to allow your person to give you a message. But I will get us started with some oracle cards. Help us to understand what they're focused in on when it comes to you and your connection. Let's jump in, guys. Let's see whose energy is coming in the strongest for my Geminis this week. Y'all know all my readings are meant to bring you confirmations of the things you already intuitively and instinctively know about your person. If it doesn't happen with this reading, you can check out your other sign positions. I also do the extra wild card reading. Check that one out. See if I was able to pick up energy there. This is for my Geminis. My Geminis and their person. What is their focus oh we got one it don't want to go in there's more than one we'll take it i won't be stingy and i'm seeing another one we're taking that with you hold the energy on the deck <laughs> yes it's for my gemini's see what we got here travel oh okay say yes to that guys Let's travel the world and get lost in love together. Let's get lost in love together. What else have we got coming out here? Slow down. There's no need to rush it. Slow down. Let's take our time. Take our time getting lost in love. What else? Youthful. Let's keep our inner child ageless and maintain youthful forever. Oh, so this guy's right here is telling me somebody loves the initial phase of falling in love and does not ever want to lose that bubbly drunk in love with you feeling. <laughs> yes. Let's savor that. Let's see what <laughs> wisdom of the house of night will bring out. Ooh, Gemini. Somebody is in drunk in love right now. Yes, they are. And they want to stay that way. What else? What else? Gemini's. Ooh, right here. Ow, meditation. Guys, when this card comes out, I never see the hands as if they're the same hands on the same person. It's always two individual people coming together. It's the number 25. When we reduce it, guys, it brings it to the seventh house energy, which is about relationships. We got meditation, slowing things down for real and really savoring the moment, being present with each other every minute that we're together. Let's see if there was something else. I feel like there's something else in this deck that's wanting to pop out, and it's right there. Ew, deceit number 38, guys. Ooh, number 11, which will take it back to 2. Taurus energy, stability. Ooh, I wasn't expecting that one, but it wanted to come out, guys. Deceit, deceit. Oh, bottom of the deck. Just got my attention. Number 44. Playful, playful. Tor uh, Taurus. Why am I saying Taurus? Are we, did somebody is dealing with a Taurus or something. Hold the energy. Guys, we're going to go just a minute longer with this reading because I want to find out what that is because i don't feel like that's your your person i feel like that's either your higher self or your guides or guardians trying to speak something to us let's use the hush tarot a minute let's clarify on that deceit card and the playful something about that playful that playful is what's covering up what's being hid playful that youthful let's get lost drunk in love Clarify the seat for me, please. Got an ace of swords. Hold on. Queen of wands. Ooh, somebody's showing you a lot of attention, making you feel good. Four of pentacles. Hold on. Trying to get the whole sentence out here so I can, we can talk about this for a minute. Getting to the star card, hope for the future, but pay attention. Hunting, we will go, just popped off the card. A hunting, we will go. It's on the ribbon, hopefully y'all can see it. Hunting, we will go, yes. 
and the sun card tree something being revealed hold the energy on this deck Gemini's what the, what this seems to be saying about this is this person is coming across as very playful they are showering us making us feel like we are center stage like we are just the bomb beautiful they're coming at us with a lot of heavy love energy here winning us over I, I mean for real they're winning us over with the positivity mm -hmm. hope for the future of hunting we will go something something's up guys that's for the future the portal to the future uh, and yeah not wanting to let go four pentacles wow possessiveness jealousy but also just not wanting to give in let go of and we're going it, it will be revealed to us i know that found, sounds very mysterious but sometimes you know in all honesty my guides will not give it to me absolutely effing clear to let me know what exactly they're talking about other than uh, something with the four pentacles don't don't invest don't get lost what was it let's get lost in love together don't get too lost because something's going to be revealed about this person and right now they have got a center stage making us feel like we're just the only thing on earth right now making us feel really good in that hunting we will go coming in on that aquarius star card that's for the future a uh, hunting we will go are they playing with us i can't tell i can't tell i mean I, you know what i'm saying mm, and this person the fact that they're popping out that kind of energy that means they want to stay in that first stage of love, guys. First stage, drunk in love. Let's don't take it any higher than that or any more serious than that. Hold energy on those. Mm, okay. Let's go ahead and get on talking, guys. Let's see what deck they would like to start with. And they are starting out with the roses, the light side of the rose deck. Ooh. You guys, it feels like their energy just popped back for whatever reason. So I know these two cards were not them bringing it out. That was because uh, I feel like all of a sudden everything got loud again. Where um, we went into like a private mode <laughs> while we were clarifying those cards. Just be a little bit leery. Yeah. Ooh, let's talk. Guys, why am I stalling? Hold on. I want to take a chance and risk it all, but I'm afraid. You're so beautiful. If you only knew how much I love you. You give me butterflies. Ooh, somebody is drunk, giddy, in love. I don't know why, but I always doubt your love for me. I will always doubt your love for me. You're what I can't live without. I can't get enough of you. Yeah, they're definitely coming at you with that energy right now. The moment I saw you, I knew I was going to fall in love with you. I'm afraid to tell you. Something on that one. Can you feel me with you? I can't stand not being there with you. You are the love of my life. It's hard for me to open up to you. Open up. Something on that one. Something on that one. There is no one else that knows me the way that you do. The way you do. The way you do. Ooh. I'm not sure how you really feel about me. I never thought I could feel this vulnerable. Let's do another shuffle. Is there anything else? Yes, there is. I'm offering you something real. I'm offering you something real. <laughs> I don't know. You guys, there's something on that one. Energy says, off off here in this reading 
You're all I've ever wanted. I'm hoping and praying. Hold that one over there with those. It's got that funky energy on it. I can feel it when you pull away from me. I can feel you pulling away from me. I can feel it when you're pulling away. I want to be the one you run to. Somehow, I will make the impossible possible. You mean everything to me. What else? I feel like I have been missing you my whole life. And I never know what to say to you. I'm so nervous around you. Oh, I believe that there's a nervousness and you should be able to sense it and pick it up, Gemini's. If this is resonating with you, you should be able to sense there's something. Because the energy is just way off in the, in the reading, especially when this person is coming through. It's just, yeah, I'm leery. Hold the energy on this deck. Be like, you know, ooh, I don't know about this. <laughs> ooh, okay, guys. Ooh, let's see. Let's, let's go ahead. Give them to focus their energy onto the deck. They want to give you a final and closing message from. I'm going to clarify on these. Like I said, we're going to go a few extra minutes with my Geminis on this one because the energy is just so really weird. Closing messages for my Geminis person, please. Closing. Butterflies. You, I thought they were gonna go for the big guns and love bombing. <laughs> Evidently not. This is the light side of the butterfly deck transformation. Okay. Talk to us. Don't know what I'm going. I'm trying to look strong here. Mm -hmm. I dream of a future with you. Mm, that was wonky. I wish we talked more. I want to tell you everything. I wish I knew how you really feel about me. Let's make this happen. I just want to hold you. I'm so in love with you. I know you are the one for me. I really want to make love to you. Slow down. Slow down. Guys, are they asking you a question? Because <laughs> it's coming out like they're going, I don't understand what you mean. Slow down. Slow down. Really? Slow down? Do we need to slow down? You're my obsession. Can't quit thinking about you right now. Right now. Right now. Keyword popped out, guys. Right now. I can't quit thinking about you right now. You're the one on my mind right now. No one makes me feel the way you do. And I don't know how much longer I can keep doing this. That was heavy. So make. So make. Hold the energy on the deck, guys. Let's get, get the tarot back real quick before I close this off. That was our last one, soulmate, uh, from them. Let's get these back. I want to see what the energy, why I'm having such a hard time with their energy here. I'm afraid to tell you. It's hard for me to open up to you. I'm hoping and praying. Why does that clarify some of that for me? Tell me what's going on. Where's the energy, please, guys? We've got a Nine of Wands energy, Wounded Warrior, battling, battling. Ace of Cups. Three of Swords, Heartache, Sorrow. Hold on. Underneath the Empress, everything's amplified by the Empress energy. Uh, glow up, show off. I'm hearing glow up, show off, not just the glow up energy, but show off, show, show, putting on a show, hold on, Ace of Cups, we've got Page of Wands, Ooh, really got no directions here, uncertainty about future, lack of direction, on that Three of Swords, Three of Cups energy, stay drunk, drunk in love, 
Okay, so what this is saying, this person um, has been battling. I, I don't know how else to put it other than somebody is addicted to falling in love, that first stage of falling in love, and after that first initial stage when it should be, you should be moving on to, you know, in your connection, evolving higher into a more committed, solid connection, uh, they'll run. They're going to run because they've been battling uh, their want to feel that uh, first time in love energy, uh, and they end up causing heartache. They get heartache themselves, but they cause other people heartache. This is amplified. They have been, been battling with this. They, yeah. uh, they never really have any real direction when it comes to when they fall in love. There's no real direction, no real intention of anything other than let's stay in this first initial in love with each other illusion kind of energy. And like I said, heartache and they will run. They will run. That's like being drunk in love. But it's a three of cups energy. And a lot of times my guys will either use two of pentacles. Uh, or most of the time three of cups energy to indicate to me that they will put themselves back out there. And open themselves up to other people to, to get that high of falling in love. Bubbly, drunk in love feeling again. Dang, Gemini's I wasn't expecting that, guys. <laughs> I really wasn't. Okay, that's all I have for us. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. Hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.